guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we we, we, we we focused on a few things, you know, mining Power Rangers, berries. I think there was a rare Pokemon there somewhere. Oh yeah, and it's springtime, yeah, that's why there's no snow around here. Uh, that's kind of a kind of a drag right there. And now we're going to be going into the Two Blind Bridge, I believe. But before we do anything, uh, look what happens. Draven! Oh shit! Oh damn, it's our Biffle right here. Our BFF for life. As I've seen traveling lately, I've been thinking about things. Or I've been thinking about things. Huh. Things like what I can uh, do with my life. And what I want to do. But I'm thinking how cool it would be to be a model like Elisa. And then how cool it would be to uh, do research like... Or do uh, research on Pokemon like Professor Juniper. Two strong women, by the way. That is true. That is very, very true. If that's what I want to do, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to know how to, uh, a lot about Pokemon. So, would you please battle me? Yeah, sure. Why not? I always, I always enjoy your company, not Jaren's. So here we go. Another battle against our Piffle for life, Pokemon Ranger Bianca, and she will be coming out with her Stoutland from Scotland. That Pokemon right there. Oh, she's got her, her female version. I got my male version right here. We can probably, you know, have a little litter right there. You know, that kind of stuff. And uh, crud, it's coming with it. It's Intimidate right there. Okay, so let's go. High jump kick. We already know what to do right here. And what? Revenge of the Nerds right there. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Okay, look at that. Stoutland just... Well, it survived that. So let's go with the Poison Jab. And of course, she would like to come out with a full restore. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. Here we go. Poison jab. Let's take care of that. Okay, well, it didn't really do much. So here we go again. Another high jump kick. And here comes that retaliate. And that nearly takes out my uh, my shedder right there. But look at that. High jump kick does the job. Suck on that stout one. And, well, she's going to be coming out with her best Pokemon, Emboar. So let's go with Sai of the Torrent. Let's go ahead and uh, take care of uh, Imbuar right here. Is that the final Pokemon? I would like to say yes. And yes, holy crap, this is a tank of a Pokemon with flames coming out of his chest like if it was a tattoo. Level 40, so let's eat this water gu or waterfall right here. Alrighty, waterfall. Can it do it? Will it do it? Yes, it does. Eat that, Imbuar. <laughs> That's a funny name to say, and look at that. Ace grows to level 44, giggle of getting something, and here she's coming out with Simi Sage, so let's go with Hotshot right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick this guy. Alrighty, homie, let's get this. Hotshot, doing the business right now. And Simi Sage, fully evolved and everything. Too bad I don't have my monkey Pokemon right now. Here we go. What is it doing? I don't know. It's lowering something. And it's uh, my defense. So, who needs defense when you got a, a, a whopper of a uh, fire punch? Look at that. Simi Sage. Defeated. Yeah, I'm kicking her butt. And here comes her tanky Musharna. So, let's go back to Ace. Let's go ahead and show our Stoutland from Scotland right here. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Musharna looking all evil and everything. It has its forewarn effect. And, well, let's go with some crunch attacks. Look at that. Crunch. Can it do it? Will it do it? It almost does it. And here comes that lucky chant. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Doesn't do much, but here comes another critical hit for me. Look at that. Critical hit. Eat that, Musharna. That's right. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. So, that was us defeating our BFF for life, and she is... Yep, Draven, you're amazing. I guess, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm really, really, really impressed, and that's what makes me want to give you this. Oh, what is it? We get ourselves a full restore, which, uh, well, of course, you know, we can always buy, but, you know, who, who doesn't like free stuff? And, well, she's like, in Castelia City, my precious Pokemon was stolen by Team Plasma. So, I really, really understand. If Team Plasma forces everyone to liberate their Pokemon, there will be nothing but sad people. Draven, stop Team Plasma. Don't allow Pokemon to be stolen from trainers who love them. 
I think that that's the truth or ideal that you've been pursuing, Draven. Maybe, I don't even know. Maybe. I just want to I just want to beat this game so we can go to Pokemon X, but sure, why not, baby? Why not? Oh dear, here, I've come all this way and I'm afraid of I'm bothering you when you're going through so much. All I wanted to, or all I wanted was to help you relax, Raven. Okay. Knowing you, you'll be fine. Definitely. You'll totally be fine. I guarantee it. Anyway, you know what I mean. Yeah, so bye-bye. Okay, uh, it's a little bit of innuendo right there. It was probably a little innuendo. It's okay. I'll see you later, Bianca. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's move on. Here we go. So, we're going to be going into the tube line, uh, the tube line bridge right here. And there's not a Pokemon. But this guy right here is going to be like, how do I describe this? You know that vibration you feel on the soles of your feet when you're crossing the tube line bridge? Mm-mm. It's the first time I'm going to be crossing it. It's the coolest. Okay. Man, that, that, that was that was so, so anticlimactic. So let's go ahead. Let's see. A giant steel bridge towering over the road ahead. I get excited just looking at this model of the tube line bridge. Okay. And uh, let's see. Talk to this guy. For anyone obsessed though with the railroads, especially trained photographers like my, like me, the tube line bridge and Anvil Town are both the uh, perfect spots for taking pictures. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. So let's... Let's go ahead and uh, go into the tube line bridge right here. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Oh wait, what the hell? Okay, so I gotta go. I gotta go back. Okay. Okay. So here we are in the tube line bridge, and it, it's dark. It's uh, awesome. It's whatever. I don't even know. So let's go right ahead. Uh, obviously, I well, it doesn't really feel speedy, but if you talk to these people right here, hey you. It's just my opinion, but it's best if you avoid this area on the week weekend evenings. The brands who live around here often get up uh, to do something stupid. Really? I'm looking for a fight. I'm trying to pick a fight with somebody right here. Alrighty, there's something. There's somebody waiting for us right there in the distance. Who the hell is that? And talk to this. Wait, wait, wait. Well, hold on. Stop it. Stop. I'm gonna. Ah, ah, come on. Okay. See. When I was running around trying to do outrun the, the trains, I got overheated. Phew. Anyways, please take this. And we get ourselves the TM43 Flame Charge, a very good move for Fire-type Pokemon. It's always nice. And, of course, it increases the user's speed, so that's that's always a plus. But there is somebody right there waiting for us. Hmm, I wonder who that, who, who that could be. Uh-oh. He looks a little familiar. Oh, crap baskets. Holy crap, Baskets! Who? Whoa, whoa, whoa! These guys are like ninjas! Come! Oh, damn. Get this. We brought the one you want. How do you do That's instant transmission! How do you do that? You guys need to teach me how to do that. I need to know how to do instant transmission. Seriously. Excellent! It seems that you have obtained the Lightstone. I congratulate you in a job well done. Oh, damn. What the hell? What are you talking about? It is my Lord N's thought that the two holders of the legendary Pokemon should put their beliefs on the line and strive to find which is the true hero. Okay, are you talking about God, Jesus, Buddha, Tom Cruise's guy? This is not necessary, however. From, in, from his infancy, I provided him with the education required to become the hero of legend. Indeed, he has been so acknowledged by the legendary Pokemon. Such purity of purpose of his or is his. The hell? Okay. The liberation of Pokemon of which I of which Team Plasma speaks is the separation of Pokemon from foolish people. That's the truth. All trainers will become helpless to resist us. We alone will be able to use Pokemon. Okay. The preparations are complete. When my perfect plan is set to set in motion. First, a few gullible Pokemon trainers who are unable to resist Team Plasma will release their Pokemon. Then that number will become a hundred, then a thousand. In no time, even the gym leaders and the champion will become unable to fight us. Having a Pokemon will be considered a bad thing. Really? Even people like the sad little Bianca whose Pokemon was stolen in Castelia will be unable to face the public opinion 
and really and will release their Pokemon. Okay, you be talking. Okay, so you you talking about my boo right here? You're talking about my girl. Don't you be talking about my girl, man. I'll be about to catch these hands right here. You will. Anyway, let's see what he has to say. That's the kind of world we'll make. Okay. You may have the stone, but there's no chance whatsoever that the legendary Pokemon will accept you as the hero. So if you're not willing to hand over the your precious Pokemon, I suggest you search for some courage. Because you're going to need it. Uh Do you see me wearing these leather uh, these leopard or these leather pants, you know? I'm rocking them pretty well. I think I do have some courage right there. And well, they disappear. They're going to be using some uh, instant transmission right here. You guys got to teach me how to do that, seriously. Okay. So Let's move on right here. This guy is, uh, you know, he's calling me a, he's calling me a coward. Oh no, he didn't. So we're about to fight the next time I see him. And uh, wow, she's going uh, crazy right here. So let's see what you have to say. Phew! I tried a little too hard. I bought way too much at the shopping mall nine. Really? And let's see. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. Okay. Route nine has a lot of trainers for such a short route. If there is a place where people can ride, similar people tend to gather. Okay, I wonder what he's talking about. And would you look at that? Oh crap, the hell? The pitcher throws his first pitch. Uh-oh, bam! We get ourselves the TM-56 uh, fling. And let's see. What I just, or what I just threw was TM-56 fling. You throw an item to d do damage to the, the, the target, and the damage changes depending on what you throw. Hmm. Although there are some poison orbs and you know fire orbs and all that stuff that can actually be used to mess with your your your, your opponent's stats. So that's what he's probably meaning. Anywho, here we are in route. Uh, I would like to say nine, huh? Yes, we are in route nine right here. There are a lot of trainers, so we're gonna yeah we're gonna get through a lot of stuff right here. So. Let's go right ahead and start battling some, uh, let's see, bikers, riders? Let's see, I, I don't even know. So, well, let's go ahead and start with Ace, the good old buddy. Let's see what he's going on. Okay, let's see. Do you want to pass through here? Then you must greet me. Okay, I, 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 I don't know how to greet people, but okay, that's fine. So, here we go. Biker Philip would like to battle, and he is coming out with his Croc Rock. Scary ass Pokemon, but still I can uh, I can still beat him. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. So I got type advantage right here. Time to eat some of this surf right here. Yeah, buddy. We all know how crocodiles don't like water. It's alligators. And bam, Rock Rock defeated. And well, Scraggy is coming to come out. And well, let's go right ahead and take. Uh, well, get Gigglyph right here. And you guys. Well, it's been, it's been, it's been really, really fun. I mean, most of you guys already know that I took a week off to stock up on a, a lot of Pokemon episodes. Trust me, guys, there were a lot of Pokemon episodes that I wanted to stock up on. Uh, yeah, and I, I also want to say that we are very, very close to being done with not just this walkthrough, but Pokemon Liquid Crystal and quite possibly Pokemon Omega Ruby, depending on, you know what kind of stuff I kind of want to do there. I mean, there's legendary Pokemon, event Pokemon, uh, the Delta series, don't forget about the Delta series, and so much more. If I win, give me your Pokemon. Hell no. Okay, so, let's see. Alrighty, we're gonna be battling uh, this guy right here. I think he's a Roughneck, right? No, he's not a Roughneck. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, you know, uh, we're close to being done, and all like already, you guys already know that the next game after Liquid Crystal will be Pokemon Coliseum. I am currently learning how to play that game, and trust me, it's a lot to learn. And it turns out that I'm probably going to be editing a lot in the in that game. So I can't wait to come out with that game. Uh, as I'm speaking right now, we are currently at what 6,960 subscribers. And yeah, we got yeah we got fifty or we got 40, 40 subscribers to go, literally forty subscribers to go to for seven uh, seven K, 
And I'm probably thinking, maybe you guys deserve a little early early reward, and that is Pokemon Coliseum. That depends. I'm still trying to figure out the kinks to that whole thing, like how to record it and stuff, because it is Capture Card that I will be using. Kind of the same thing for Pokemon Snap, and... Well? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure all that stuff out. It might not be live comm. It might... Still haven't figured it out, but yes, we are very, very close to 7K, guys, and I'm very, very appreciative of all of you guys for helping me out to get to this uh, 7K after three long years. And well, any other goals that I have in mind right here? Well, I've been talking about it for quite some time too. Kind of hoping that I would be done with like maybe four walkthroughs in one year, and I might get a chance to do that because of the pandemic. So. I'm going to try my best to upload as many episodes as possible. Hopefully football season doesn't uh, get canceled, because if it does, oh yeah, Draven's going to be miserable for a whole year. We all know how much Draven loves his football, and look at that, Scraggies versus Shedder and Gigalift, and well, let's go with Air Slash. Oh crud, I don't have that move. Okay, so, please do not crash. Please do not crash. Okay, Gigalift, Air Slash attack. There we go. Scraggy defeated. Okay, alrighty. And well, let's go right here. And high jump kick does it. Alrighty. Look at that, look at that. And look at that. More experience points for every single one of us. Like I said, guys, there's gonna be a lot of present or there's gonna be a lot of uh There's gonna be a lot of uh whatchamacallit trainers right here. And that yeah, that was a double battle right here. Now this is this area right here, too, you can actually find... What was his name again? Uh, Pon Ponyard. Yeah, you can find that Pokemon right here. And uh, if you guys are into Steel slash Dark type Pokemon, yeah, this is the place to go. Now, let's see. <laughs> Nobody can beat my speed and fury. You don't say. Okay. All right, and, well, speaking of the devil, he does come out with a Ponyard. And, well, like, okay, so... I don't know if many, like, uh, how many, how many of you guys from 10 years, or close to 10 years were with me. Crap, I picked the wrong move, god dang it. Well, if you guys may remember when I first came out with a, a Pokemon, uh, a Pokemon Black Walker, I may or may have not hacked a Ponyard just because I liked the way it looked, its final evolution. Didn't even realize that its final evolution or you have to level it up within the level 50 to actually get its final evolution. As well as, uh, what was it? Bravari. I think that's what, it, what it's called. I blindly played that game without knowing what kind of Pokemon are good and all that stuff. And I chose to hack two Pokemon uh, just to put them on my team. Both Pokemon would evolve at level 50, which is kind of like, you know, that's on me right there. And it's on good old Draven for not learning his Pokemon and all that stuff. And, well... Let's see, let's go right here, let's see, there's an item right here that you can actually get, but first let's grab this, yeah buddy, we got ourselves the HP up, the Pokemon Viagra, and there's something right here waiting for us, and look at that, we found ourselves a Max Ether, and well, let's see, there's something else waiting for us, now, we can't really go down there, inside that cave, we actually have to be the Pokemon League Champion in order to get there, but uh, trust me guys, it's kind of like if uh, you were at the Cerulean Cave. Yeah, lots of strong ass Pokemon, and here we found a full restore, and well, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's move on right here, now let's go straight for the store that these people were talking about, actually first let's battle this guy, join our team, actually I will force you to join our team. That's kind of, yeah, that's, that, yeah, that is kind of, that's kind of uh, bad. And here we go, Roughneck Chance would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Scraggy. Alrighty. I'm going to be coming out with this guy right here. And hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully, we will win right here. So let's go with an Air Slash attack. There we go, there we go. Scraggy defeated. Alrighty. Okay, and look at that. Gigalith grows to level 44. And it's lear finally learning Psychic. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and... Take away a Psybeam and go with Psychic Attack right here. And look at that. Bam! Gigalift. Learning new moves. Finally more powerful moves and everything like that, so... 
where the hell is this item? Okay, so it should be right here somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so let's grab that. We found ourselves a lemonade. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see. Okay, so this is this, uh, this the shopping mall 9, California Wonderful, which you can actually go to and buy a crap load of stuff. And I'm actually going through the booklet right here to see what you can actually find first. Yes, guys, I'm on my desk right now. Alright, so the floor guide to the uh, the shopping, ball, shopping mall 9. And let's see. Uh, let's see, Lady Isabel, Waiter Bert. I think you actually battle some people right here. And let's see. There is one place you can actually get TMs, but everything else is just like regular stuff, essential stuff. Like the first floor right here, or second floor, if you like to call it. Uh, counter to the left, you will actually find. Uh, well, this guy right here will actually sell uh, regular stuff right here. So, what we're gonna do is. Uh, be battling people battling people not buying stuff there there's only two TMs that you can actually buy right here so let's see talk to her welcome would you like a cold drink with your Pokemon battle yes I would okay okay alrighty so let's go Minch oh crap baskets hate this Pokemon right here Minchino god dang it and it's evolved form and it's couch and everything else that it comes with it Okay, so let's go with the Psychic now that I have it, and yes, we are faster than you. Eat it. Yes, it feels good to be the king right now, and look at that. Ace, getting points, and she will be coming out with the Lilligant. Lilligant. Okay, so let's go with Homeboy right here. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, going up against a Lilligant. Ace. Let's do some return. I don't know why I chose Ace. I thought Lilligant was the water type Pokemon, but I guess I was wrong right there. And look at that. The Lilligant losing a lot of HP and it's using crap baskets. It's it's a, it's absorb or mega 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 drain or something like that. So let's finish this guy off with crunch attack. Yes, sir. Look at that. Okay, and well, look at that. Ace grows to level 45. We're getting close to level 50. And flow from, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the, 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 the insurance person just got beat. Okay, so we go right here. You'll be able to buy two technical machines. One being Hyper Beam and the other one being Giga Impact. They're bi basically both the, like, they're both the same thing. You know, very powerful attack and then recharge the next move. I don't think I'm going to be buying them because, yeah kind of don't want to wait up and all that stuff too so let's go ahead and find the other person right here actually let's see even when I am resting it or too much I am willing to battle okay ready okay so here we go we're gonna be going up against Stoutland from Scotland again okay so let's go with the gigalith attack Alrighty. Alrighty. and uh, yes we all know about the intimidate Okay, so here we go. Get this. Psychic attack. Yeah, buddy. Psychic attack does it, and crap! Here comes the crunch attack. And that was not cool. So let's go again, another psychic attack. There we go. Yeah, buddy. And, uh, well... Isabel was not that strong right there, but you know, it's still a good Pokemon trainer, right? I guess so. I don't know. So, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And let's go with Sign of the Torrent. You know, just because he's at level 50 doesn't mean you have to stay satisfied and all that stuff. So, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I'm a waiter who is good at Pokemon battles. You don't say. Alrighty, so... Here we go. Waiter Burt wants the battle, and he's coming out with Minchino. Damn, trademark Pokemon. Trademark god dang Pokemon right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this guy off with Waterfall. Even though I could have used Revenge or something like that. And there goes Minchino. I'm happy now. I'm really, really happy about that. Alrighty, and well, here comes a Lampet. So perfect. Very, very perfect right here. And well, let's go right ahead and use another Waterfall attack. 
Alrighty, here we go. Flush him out. Lampet defeated. Now, another Pokemon that I had into my very first Black Walker was a uh, Lampet. Another Pokemon that I kind of, I don't know, it's, it is a good Pokemon. Good combination Ghost and Fire type Pokemon, but I still kind of somewhat regret using them because you still have to evolve them with the stone later on. Hey, Pokemon Trainer, do you know about uh, an item called a Thunderstone? Yes. So you know Thunderstones makes Pokemon, uh, certain Pokemon evolve then. Nice! Meeting you, or meeting here uh, must be fate. This is for you. And look at that, we get ourselves a Thunderstone. And, well, I said this early on in this walkthrough, I was gonna get an Electric, Electros and all that stuff for my team. I was gonna replace Ace, but I kinda, I kinda uh, thought it, well, I kinda chose against it because even though Electros is a, an electric type, uh, electric type Pokemon with Levitate, it's still pretty slow, so I kinda need some speed and a little bit of strength on my team. I think Stetlin, uh, you know, fills it up pretty well right here. And if you go right here, this guy will be selling you some vitamins. I believe the other person right there will be selling you uh, X item or, yeah, X items right there too. Now, if you go right here, let's see. Oh, yeah, you get to buy essential stuff, you know, Pokeballs. Uh, different kinds of Pokeballs right here that you'll find all over Unova. And, well, that is pretty much it right there. I don't think we need to do anything. Yeah, I don't think we need to do anything else. So let's get the heck out of here. Alrighty. So, here we are in Route 9, and, well, there's a certain event that comes in the next, uh, well, in the next city, because that's where we're going to be going. So we're going to stop right here, guys. Next episode, there's going to be a nice tour, a nice event, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.